In this video, I will show you how to install Endeavor OS on a USB drive. And this will not be a live USB drive, but a full Linux installation on a USB drive, so everything you do on it will persist. You will be able to use it as a normal Linux system on a hard drive, so that means you can update the system, you can install packages, you can do basically whatever you want, and it will be saved to the drive. In the previous videos, I also installed different Linux distributions on the USB drive, like Ubuntu, Pop OS, Linux Mint, Manjaro, and Kali Linux. What I will show you in this video will be very similar to the Pop OS video where I installed Pop OS on a USB drive. If you're interested, the link to the Pop OS video is somewhere up there or down in the description. Now, as with Pop OS, the steps in this video will only work if your system supports UEFI. UEFI is nothing new, it's been here for the past decade, so probably your system supports UEFI as well. Before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find everything about Linux, Docker, game dev, and software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the necessary links from this video are down in the description, and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part of this video. I am here on the official Endeavor OS website. First, we want to download the ISO with the live environment, so let's go to download, latest release and then scroll a bit down. You can download the official ISO by clicking on one of those links. I will go with Worldwide GitHub, it's downloading. Download complete, here it is, this is the ISO with the live environment. And now we will need to flash this one on a second USB drive. This second USB drive can be any off-the-shelf USB stick, it doesn't really matter, we will use it only for the live environment, but the first USB drive where we will install the full Endeavor OS on should be a more faster one, so it should have a decent read-write speed, otherwise the performance when you use it will be very slow, it doesn't matter if you have the new SPC if the USB drive with the OS is the bottleneck. So get a decent USB drive. To flash this one on a USB drive we will use a tool called Rufus, so this is Rufus, this is the official website, and I use this tool in every Linux installation video so far. So if you were following me, then you know how this one works. Let's scroll down. Here is the download link. Download complete. Let's open it. This is Rufus, and now it's the right time to plug in the off-the-shelf USB drive for the live environment. I will do this as well. Rufus has recognized my USB stick, and now let's select the ISO. This is the one, and open. The defaults should be OK. And let's start. ISO image mode is OK. Now it warns us that everything that is currently on the USB drive will be deleted. So if you have anything important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there, so I will just continue. OK. And let's wait. All right, ready. So we can close Rufus. We have the USB drive with the live environment, and now we need to boot into it. I will assume that you know how to boot from a USB drive. First you restart the system, and then while it is restarting you press one of the function keys, usually it's F11 or F12, it depends on your PC manufacturer. Then you should get the boot menu, and in there, find your USB drive, select it, and it should boot into it. I will do this on my system as well, and I'll see you in the live environment. Here we are in the Endeavor OS live environment. Now it's the right time to plug in the USB drive where we will install Endeavor OS on. I will do this as well. Again, the steps that I will show you here will only work if your system supports UEFI. And now here in this welcome dialog, select start the installer. Choose installation method. I will go with offline. It should be a bit faster. This is the installer and I will just go with the defaults. American English is OK. Next. Default region, that's OK. Keyboard is OK. Now this is the important part. Here we need to select the USB drive that we previously plugged in and where we will install Endeavor OS on. So click on the drop down. In my case, this is the one. Now select manual partitioning and next. Now here again, make sure your USB drive is selected and then go to new partition table. Select GUID partition table and OK. Now you should see only free space here. Now click on free space and then create. The first partition will be the EFI partition and I will set the size to 300. This should be sufficient. File system should be pad32 mount point boot slash EFI and for the flex we want boot. That's it. Okay. Then again click on free space, create. This one will be the root partition so it should occupy all the rest of the space. File system x4 is okay. Mount point should be root and that's it. Click OK. And we are done here. Click next. Now write your username and password. This will be my user and next. 
Now here you just get a summary what will be done and let's go install. Now it warns us that if we continue we will not be able to undo the changes. Everything on the USB drive will be deleted. So again if you have anything important on there make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there so I will just install. And now let's wait for the installer. All done, installation finished. Now we just need to restart. Check restart now. Now while it restarts you should again open the boot menu by pressing one of the function keys and then select the USB drive with the full Endeavor OS installation. I will do the same on my system here as well and I'll meet you there. And here it is Endeavor OS. This is now running from the USB drive that we previously installed. Let's click this away. You can take this USB drive to any machine with UEFI support and just boot into it and use it. That's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. It means a lot to me, it makes the channel grow. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.